Um, this, this government, this government, under whichever premier you want, um, has really had a mm, not a love-hate relationship with the with the uh, with film development and production in Alberta, uh, film and television. Um, but more like a passive-aggressive uh, sort of relationship with them. Because while at various times um, people, ministers, have been willing to stand up and say, yes, indeed, we understand how much money this brings into our province. Uh, it gives us great exposure. It actually has um, a quantifiable spin-off now on tourism because uh, people come because they want to see where the film was shot and or they are just impressed by the... Um, uh, scenery and, and want to, to come there themselves. Um, but we've also just had devastating cuts to the community. I mean, at one point we were um, really, we were poised to overtake BC as the big production, film production um, centre in Canada. Uh, and that was right when um, Premier Klein came in and everything was slashed. They dumped um, AMPDC, which was the Alberta Motion Picture Development Corporation. Um, they slashed the funding from wherever it had gotten to at that point, like 30 million down to 3 million. Uh, I mean, just everything just died. Um, and we had actually gotten to a point, as I said, where we were poised to beat out BC, and there's a lot of activity in BC. Um, because we had things like the costume trailers, uh, which are custom built, and you know they're built to do a certain job, and it's very particular, and it's very expensive. We had those. We had the lighting trucks. We had makeup and and uh, dressing room um, trucks. It was. We had a lot of people who had invested a lot of money uh, in in film production in the province, and they just got into the truck and drove away and took their equipment with them because they had to work. Uh, they had bills owing on this stuff. It was not cheap. Uh, and they left. And then, eh, well, it slowly kind of got, I remember uh, the community working so hard to get the previous treasurer, I guess it was, um, Stockwell Day to go out and go to a film shoot and see you know, what was going on there because there was always this great suspicion that somehow we were hatching anarchists or something in the editing suite. It was a very strange attitude of the government. Um, but eventually the community did manage to convince the government that they were a good investment uh, and we moved to the uh, um, three stream system that has just now been adjusted. Um, and I, I keep in touch with this community. I used to work in it as an actor, but I do keep in touch with the, um, uh, the Actors uh, Union, uh, the Directors Guild, the Teamsters, um, the IATSE, which is the Stage and Technical Workers. There's a big community still in Alberta, although they're very frustrated because so many of them still live here and pay mortgages here, but they're working somewhere else. And I remember a really good conversation during the la before the last election where a number of people got up and said, yeah, you know, my kid works in this industry and I'd like them to, uh, to work more at home uh, and less out of the province. So um, there was an intense lobbying effort um, to get the government to adjust the three-stream system, and they have. Um, so the current, oh, don't you die on me. This is definitely the drawback, Mr. Speaker, from trying to go paperless um, because it, <laughs> the computer shuts off and then you have to fire it back up again. So um, the uh, current three streams is uh, uh, the Indigenous, stream one is Indigenous co-production, which is funding up to 30% of all the uh, eligible Alberta costs, but it does require between 30 and 100% of Alberta ownership uh, of the production. So you get a better deal. You get more if, you're, if it's an Alberta production or has a lot of Albertans involved. Um, there's also a stream two. So what they did was they took the three streams and collapsed them because there was a way to kind of 
work the system that was happening with the three streams. So they've collapsed them into two streams, uh, and, it's, and it seems to be working much better except for a whole bunch of other things. So the second stream is the, four, uh, the foreign service ones. That's where you get the Hollywood ones coming in, and they can get up to 26%. Now, let me give you the list of what they actually cover. So the eligible expenses include post-production, and I think that Alberta might be one of the few jurisdictions that actually covers post-production costs. Special effects, all rentals that they do from fridges and trucks and uh, costumes and all rentals, um, set construction and props, animation, craft services, which for you that don't know is food. <laughs> feeding people, uh, all of the Alberta labour that's involved in the production, um, food and accommodations, in-province travel, all production services, uh, and, and addition to that. So it's covering a very wide range. Now when you go to tax incentives, quite often the tax incentives are based on labour. So I'm, a, I'm not sure exactly what uh, the uh, sponsoring member was looking for, and I'd be looking for a bit of clarification, because neither system is terrific. Um, there are drawbacks with the tax system in that, you know, what are you going to cover? Um, two, in talking to people, actually just recently at the Mayor's um, Celebration of the Arts and a couple of other uh, arts events I've been at in the last week, um, you know, they, the, peop, the producers will admit that they get their money faster under this system than they would under a tax incentive system. Well, uh, you know, when your name's on the line, your house is, uh, your, your house is put up as collateral, eh, that means something. Um, uh, the percentage that you're getting back is also very good. I mean, are you talking about a tax incentive that's 5%? You're talking about one that's 50%? Or what are you going to cover? So it's a bit more complicated. You haven't flushed out for me which, what it is exactly that you're looking for. Um, sorry? 50,000 feet. Yeah, but I'm sorry. This is a, a 50,000 feet or taking it back to the principle of the thing doesn't cut it for me. We fooled around a lot with this industry. It it produces between 8 and $11 for every dollar that is invested in it by government. So it is an astonishing payback. I mean, honestly, if any of us could get that rate at the bank right now, we would be cashing out everything we had and running down to the bank to get 8 to 11% back on every dollar that we put in, like holy mackerel. Um, we have a well-trained uh, group of people in this province that know how to do it. We've got experienced producers. And the system that is in place currently has a couple of things in it that people wanted me to mention specifically. And that was there is a commitment to mentor and bring along more uh, um, Alberta uh, labour and talent, um, and they wouldn't want to see that lost under a, a different system. Um, and they also... Um, mm -mm. Uh, sorry, that's why I don't like these things. Um, they were very specific. They didn't want to lose that mentorship piece. Um, and, and I mean, this system isn't great. Part of it is the cap. So there's a $5 million cap per production, I think. Um, and in this day and age, that's pretty small potatoes for the, for the film community. Um, you know, at this point, a $5 million film is, it's almost animation. I mean, it's, it's very short and it's, um, yeah, it's going to be like under 20 minutes. So if you're talking a, a you know, a professional feature length, it's very hard to get um, anything done, whether the full uh, amount of the film is $5 million or if your grant, your eligible grant is $5 million. But it, 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 I really hate the cap. And you know, when we're getting that kind of money back, why is there a cap on each production? That needs to go. Um, the second thing is that the fund itself, for the same reasons, needs to be much higher. Because I can't even remember how much is in there right now. A minister, is it 30 million? 19 million? How much is in the film fund right now? 19 million. Uh, yes, of course, through the speaker. Uh, it's 19 million, says the minister.